Welcome back to the 311 Griffin YouTube channel. I'm going to attempt to show the CCIP attacks uh, in the A29B Super Tucano mod. Um, we're going to be using rockets, uh, CBU 97, um, MK 82, and what is this other one? I think it's a uh, 107 something like that I've never used it before it's just it's a bigger bomb and I don't know the specifics of it necessarily but I wanted to just show that um, all of these uh, dumb bombs kind of work the same way and uh, you can use uh, well before I get into it too much there is a uh, again just like in my startup video there is a Portuguese uh, sort of tutorial on how to do this that is probably a little bit better than what I'm gonna show but um, I wanted to do kind of an English version. Uh, it has subtitles, so you can get pretty much everything you need to know from that video. Um, and I will link it as well as a download link for the mod in the description of the video. So um, to start off with, we are at we're at 14.5-ish and climbing. You need to be fairly high up in the air uh, above the ground to... Um, to do the CCIP dumb bomb drops just because you need a lot of speed uh, or a, sorry a lot of altitude to, to get a good bombing cue. Uh, I tend to start my dives too far away from the targets and then my dive is too shallow and it seems like I'm, I'm getting a lot of um, the, the bombs fall well short of the target the way I do it so I've been actually releasing the bombs late uh, and that seems to do a little bit better but it means that your your cue is not exactly accurate so that's something that you'll probably have to play around with a little bit. Um, I'm assuming that it's fairly accurate to the way things would be in real life. Uh, I don't know. Um, some, sometimes uh, I think, well, it should land wherever that cue is because the plane knows where I am and how fast I'm going and all that kind of stuff. But it's not necessarily the way that works. You know, some of these uh, pippers, they're just using the, the plane information. Um, they may not know all of the things they need to know to get the job done. But... Um, the first thing I'm going to do though, is I'm going to hit this barrow R out button because I'm not using a waypoint. And, um, the, the guy that did the Portuguese video filled me in on that. Um, I had the bomb, uh, the CCIP queue was flipping upside down and then disappearing and never coming back. And I think it was because I was using radar out and, um, whenever you get into a steep dive or something like that, it doesn't know exactly how high up you are <clears throat> okay so we're going to go to live we're going to turn our light arm on we're going to go to our sms page and we're going to start with this mk17 um, but oh yep yeah, we need to go into ag mode and then yeah 117 mk117 perfect so our targets are down here on this x just to make it easy and um, i'm still climbing which is fine but I want to get closer to, oh, my bomb fall line just went away. Maybe I was in the wrong mode already. We'll try that again. In case you caught it, hopefully you caught it, but basically whenever I, whenever I went up, the, um, the Q went above my total velocity vector and then disappeared. So we're a lot higher this time, which means my dive is probably going to wind up being steeper. Uh, that's always the trick for me in CCIP. I love CCIP bombing. It's a lot of fun. But the trick for me is always that, um, you know, just starting the dive in the right location, getting the right dive angle and all that kind of stuff. Okay, we're going to try it here. And we've got four groups of trucks there, but we're going to go for... The one furthest out on that on that furthest um, that furthest piece of runway there. Okay, so we're kind of coming across them. I and I'm not. This isn't necessarily a tactically sound video, so um, keep in mind you may have to do your attack runs a little differently. I am going to wait a little bit. Drop the bomb. Pull out of the dive. Ooh, see that one went about where I was supposed to, where it was supposed to go, because I went a little bit late. So 
maybe the steeper dives are actually perfect, you know. I, I think that they do get more accurate if you're closer to a 45 degree dive, which is what uh, he says in the Portuguese video, Lu Lucas Orsi says that. And so, you know, I would trust that that's fairly accurate. Now we've got to trim back down a little bit because we went from over our maximum weight to uh, to somewhere under our maximum weight. Um, let's switch to the CBU-97. And you don't have to have 15,000 feet of altitude. That is... Um, that's kind of where I started. Uh, I was doing this earlier at 8,000 feet, and that airfield's fairly close to sea level. It's a little bit above it, but um, so anyway, 15,000 seems to work for a good steep dive, so that that might be good. But uh, 8,000 definitely wasn't doing it for me. I was having to release late, and now I'm kind of questioning: Do I do I uh, try a steep dive and release exactly where it should go or do I try a shallower dive like I'm used to and release late but it doesn't really matter this this is more for um, showing you how to get the weapons to employ not necessarily to see how accurate I can be I guess All right. Whoops, I'm a little bit off there. That's probably going to be a less accurate than I wanted because my wings were sort of... I was switching back and forth between um, bank angles. So that's that always degrades your accuracy when you do that this bomb will probably take a little bit because it's a CBU 97 oh man the CBU 97 went okay so it's actually not as bad as last time it's definitely not centered on the targets, so I did something wrong there, but that's okay. Switch to our MK-82. give it a go. Now I'm going to go for this nearest group here. Those CB 97s, I guess I didn't get any of the skeets or whatever near the trucks because none of them died. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping that's a little more accurate. I was in a really steep dive there. Yep, there we go. That was a little better. Okay, so next up, rockets, which are a little tricky for me, and then guns, which are extremely tricky for me. So, um, like most things, you can do singles, pairs, or salvos, and you can do uh, pairs with bombs. I just wasn't. I should have said that. I, I didn't even think about it. Um, there's also the release button on some of them. I thought... Okay. Okay. I thought that there was a way to switch the release. Maybe I'm thinking of up here. Ah, oh, yeah. CCIP or manual. Um, but we want CCIP. That's the way to go. Uh, I'm going to put them in pairs, and it's going to fire one from each wing. Um, now, you don't have to be uh, as high up. The, the steeper you are, the in a way, the flatter the trajectory is going to be. So it can help to be in a steep dive, but... Uh, I tend to go into a shallow dive, and one thing about the gun and the rockets, it appears to me, and I don't know if this is true or not, but it appears to me that the zero point 
uh, is set really close to the aircraft, or maybe they are essentially what what I would call bore sided, where they're just pointed straight forward and maybe maybe angled in slightly. The rockets, not so much as the guns, but um, so so maybe the top of the trajectory is the airplane, uh, which is a little bit weird in my opinion, but I don't know if that's the way it would really be or not. Anyway, they seem to come out and and fall quite a bit. So I tend to get closer than I would normally get, and then I use the bottom of the reticle as my aiming point, or even even I'll even aim higher than that sometimes, depending on how far away I am. And then I'll I'll have to kind of adjust it down as I get closer. But we'll see how it works here. So I would normally fire about here. But you see how I, I pulled up a little bit, used the bottom of that circle at the far trucks, and then pushed the stick back down a little um, as I fired pairs. And that was actually my best attack run yet. Um, so, so that seems to work fairly well for me, but you'll have to kind of play around with it a bit. Um, so now let's click this AG button. That's going to put us in gun mode. We've got our boxes, and you notice the boxes around... The weapon i should have mentioned that as well you get your weapons boxed for whatever you are um, attacking with and now we're set up on our gun and again it's the gun to me is scary like i, I love doing gun runs and this gun is scary because it shoots really really low uh, and i tend to have to get really close to get bullets on target so maybe I should be in steeper angles or something, but I'm going to go in it in fairly shallow and do similar thing to what I did with the rockets. I'm just going to aim really high and get really close. Okay, I aimed too high. We'll do one more. I don't want to make the video overly long with me trying to get on target, <laughs> but we'll do one more run and uh, and call it good. And I'll come in lengthwise to the column, and then maybe if I miss one, I'll hit another. Okay, we got one of them. I sort of covey shot him there. You saw me spray in across the the uh, the column a bit, which is fine. You can do that. Looks like I got two of them, maybe. <laughs> so the gun does the job. If you can get some bullets on target, the gun does the job. However, you need to do it. Um, the only other thing that I guess that I could talk about, and I didn't show this at all, but it's it's in the Portuguese video, uh, Lucas's video. But you can do, um, you can set your points, and I, I don't have any waypoints in here, but if you have a waypoint at your target, you can set that um, as your your waypoint, and then that can sometimes help with weapons employment. I don't really do that very much, so I don't want to talk about it much. Um, I'm not for sure how this aircraft takes that information, and and uses that for weapon employment either. I'm not, I wouldn't have expected it to affect CCIP um, targeting. But uh, from what I was told, if you have a waypoint selected, you don't necessarily have to mess with that Barrow uh, R-Alt button. So, But if you do find yourself, that, that's one thing I should reiterate because I don't know I explained it very much. If you do see yourself with that CCIP fall line and pipper, like flipping upside down and disappearing, hit that button. That seems to work really, really well. Okay, so with that, I will sign off, and I hope that this is helpful for you guys.